Hello again, it's Rob with Synapse Wireless, and today I'm gonna to walk you through Simply Snap for indoor applications. Now we typically target those high bay, high wattage applications, manufacturing, distribution center, and warehouses, and I'm actually gonna walk you through uh, an example using one of our customers uh, that has a distribution center that uses Simply Snap for both their indoor and their outdoor lighting. So I've got the Simply Snap web app here. I'm gonna open it up and go ahead and log in. All right, and I'm gonna go select the site. All right, so as soon as you've logged into a site, you're gonna land on the map, and the map's gonna give you the real-time status of all the lights in the system. You can see here uh, the exterior lights, the ones in the parking lot, and the wall packs are currently off, and the interior lights, those lights are currently on. Now the interior lights have our embedded DIM 108706 controller installed inside the light uh, at the factory by the uh, lighting OEM. And then the exterior lights, those are our twist locks, the TL7s that are connected to uh, the wall packs and the parking lot lights. If I tap on the map anywhere uh, I tap, it's gonna show me the scene zones and lights associated with that area. So I just clicked on the outside. You can see here are the outside scenes, turn the lights on, off, and then dimming them for energy savings overnight. Um, here are the zones in that area where I selected, the parking lot, of course, zone all and then all of the lights uh, in that area where I selected. I can do the same thing for interior. If I select an interior area of the map, here's uh, the interior scenes that are set up in the system, as well as the zones in that area where I selected. Now you'll see this is a distribution center, so there are a number of aisles where the customer is storing their products. Um, so products being brought into the distribution center and brought out. Each one of those aisles is an independent lighting zone. And for code, uh, those lights need to dim up and down. So when no one is, uh, when the fork trucks are not in the aisle, dim the lights to a lower value. And then if a fork truck pulls into the aisle to get the product, uh, bring the lights up to their uh, high configured value. So let me show you kind of how we set that up for the customer. Um, over here in the upper left, we've got the menu. So if I select menu, um, here are all the menu items. I'm gonna go down to scenes. And we're gonna take a look at the interior scenes first. I've got uh, a daytime scene. So this runs during uh, the normal hours when uh, the distribution center is active. And we're gonna go look and see how that scene is set up. So you'll see I've got a number of each, again, each one of those independent lighting zones all set up uh, here. And those are all set to an occupancy behavior during the day. And if I look at this here, I can see when occupancy is detected, the lights are gonna be dimmed to 100%. And then uh, once vacancy is detected, 30 seconds later, dim those lights down to 50%. So daytime distribution center, uh, you can get quite a bit of energy savings if you think about uh, the number of aisles that are sitting there vacant without fork trucks going down them. So those are gonna sit there at 50% until someone pulls down the aisle. And you don't have to have a motion, uh, motion sensor on every light. Um, this customer has motion sensors on about 20% of the lights. So you could stick a motion sensor on each end of the aisles, um, the lights that are attached to each end of the aisle. And then when someone comes into the aisle, that occupancy will turn all of the lights on instantaneously in that zone. Now let's go back and look at their overnight scene. So look at night. And overnight, when no one is down uh, an aisle, they're gonna shut those lights off. So that's, they're not expecting much traffic. If someone do, does come through the facility, we'll turn the lights on, but within 30 seconds, we wanna get those lights off as quick as we can. Now the schedule is gonna dictate when those scenes are applied. Uh, you can see here, um, today's schedule uh, at 6 a.m., they're running that uh, interior daytime scene. We're just gonna skip ahead and look at Friday. So uh, the facility is not active overnight on Friday evening. So they're gonna run that nighttime scene at 10 p.m. And then uh, you can also see the exterior lighting scenes are running. Here's sunrise, we're turning the lights off. Uh, sunset, we're turning uh, 30 minutes prior to sunset, turning the lights on. And then at 11 o'clock, we're dimming those lights down to a lower value, um, down to 40%. So we're getting maximum energy savings. And let's take a look at actually that energy savings. We can get a composite view of the entire system, both indoor and outdoor, and what the energy usage is with the controls. So when we commission the site, uh, we set our baseline. If all of the LEDs were running all the time, um, they would be using 635 kilowatts 
across those 3,500 lights. Um, with the energy saving strategies we have with the schedules and the scenes using occupancy sensors and when no one's around dimming those lights down to 50% during the day, shutting them off at night and then dimming the lights in the uh, exterior parking lots down to 40%. Um, we're getting an additional about 30% of energy savings you can see here over the last 24 hours. And then if I want to go look at the last week, now this site was commissioned just a few weeks ago, so I don't have a long history of energy data, but you can see, um, the, uh, the additional savings that we're getting. Here's each of the days, uh, the average usage. And if I wanna look at that in a report, I can click download, uh, generate that into a CSV file, and then I can see uh, exactly uh, what my energy savings are, and then I can use that um, for rebate purposes if I have rebates, uh, if I have access to rebates in my area. So um, that's about it. That's uh, Simply Snap for indoor applications in a nutshell. Uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions. Uh, we'll be glad to answer them.